Good morning, Steven Zelenardo here with Remax West Zelenardo Associates. Uh, we'll jump right into it. We'll talk about inventory. We're going to talk about basically the market conditions currently right now, what we're experiencing, and on um, just my last sale that happened on uh, Friday. So inventory down, obviously, 7,866 units. When I got back from vacation, we were about 7,400 units, which was last week. So uh, inventory is really building slowly, and it's us also depleted. Again, if we look at 2017, we're at about 4,500 to 5,000 units the, the starting of the year in January. We're just short of that, shy of that, let's call it by 2,500 units. But ultimately, the market's in a full aggression, like I've been uh, predicting and prophesizing last year going into this year. It's going to be a super hot, fast market. And I'll give you uh, a, qu a quick indication on my last sale that I did last week. Basically, it was condominium in Toronto. Uh, elder building, a good good unit, needed a full renovation, but I'll give you a whole the whole down low on it. Uh, we, we list the property, the presentation is really well, we staged it, it looked amazing. Photography was fantastic, like the online uh, marketing was amazing, the, the condo did stand out versus the other one. So we got a, a, a flurry of uh, showings going in on the property, and what I like to do when, when showings are happening, I like to follow up with the agents as they're going in to kind of, kind of feel what's happening, sort of like an indicator of how the, their buyers are taking the property or the product. And uh, so basically what we do is we get, uh, you know, seven, eight showings the first night and we get one offer comes in around midnight. Uh, so then we deal with it the next day and then it was a 2 p.m. cutoff period where we had to deal with the offer by 2 p.m. And the offer is already, already amazing. It was about a uh, over market value, let's call it, because we were listed at a certain price. We went a little bit over asking, but over asking does it is not not a good indicator it's all about market value we know the last one in this building sold fully renovated for 540 a couple of months prior we were f uh, fully unrenovated in a smaller unit and we already had uh, much more money than this this unit so we already know we're about 30k over market value which is awesome so good deal you know even if my client signed that it was above their expectations well, what do I do at this point here? Being a proactive agent, you call all agents, call every agent, you message every agent. You had to literally, I had to really sell to the agents why they should be showing on the day of rather than the next day because they had all their showings booked, let's say on Saturday rather than Friday. So I had to sell to, again to buyer agents to come in and show. So I got one agent to bite and uh, he literally dropped everything. He picked up his client uh, on our lunch break, brought her to the unit and he submitted an offer. And uh, the good thing is this offer came in, like the final results is we go in about 55,000 over market value, plus it was a firm deal and it's just fantastic. It's just a good way to, to uh, end the week and uh, just to show you how the market is in a fury. So the last few sales we've had were all gone into multiple offers. So um, it's again, it's gonna be a crazy market. If you gotta buy, you gotta do it now before the market just really takes off. I'm looking at values even on, on my current residence right now where we, we purchased at uh, you know, a certain price, we went down about 150,000. Now we're probably down about 50k from the uh, actual purchase price, which is amazing. So it looks like we're coming back up. Hopefully we stay steady and not have a, a massive spike. But who to predict? Who's here to predict uh, what the outcome is? But hopefully uh, it's just a gradual climb and we kind of stay steady. And that's pretty much it, guys. Have an amazing day. We'll talk soon. Ciao.